Answer the Public is a free market research tool that can quickly help you find a niche, come up with new content or business ideas, drive keyword development, and much more. In the next few minutes, I'll tell you everything you need to know to start using it, and stay to the end for a bonus Answer the Public hack to give you even more ideas. So Answer the Public scrapes hundreds of autocompletes from Google searches for any specific seed term you're choosing, and then pulls them all onto one page so you can quickly see the specific areas surrounding your central topic that people are interested in. So to start, you simply need to go to answerthepublic.com and simply search for the topic you're interested in. So we have a fictional company called Socks, and we're gonna search for the word Socks. So you simply whack it in to answer the public and then you're going to be taken to this page where if you scroll down a little bit you can see they've been given 392 results and they're going to be divided into questions, prepositions, comparisons, alphabeticals and related. So the first one is questions and this is how you're going to be given the data in the form of these trees. So you can see first branches we have other question types so which, how, can, will, who, where, are, what, what, why, and when. And then beyond that, you'll see lots of other branches, uh, which breaks it down to these specific search uh, searches that people are actually looking for. What you'll then see, as well as the wording, is these little dots that have a different shading of green. The darker the color green, the more popular this specific search is. So can socks be recycled is more popular than can socks cut off circulation. Then, if you want to dig deeper and see what results come out for each of these specific search terms, you simply, simply click on it and you're going to be taken to the Google page for that search term. Scroll down and you'll see the search trees for all the different other areas as well. So prepositions and comparisons. The biggest initial negative about Answer the Public is that these trees end up involving a lot of head turning. But what you can do is simply go up to the top of each section and switch over to data. So this doesn't look as nice but you have exactly the same data in a much easier to use format, ordered where the top is the most searched for and the bottom is the least searched for. Also, what you can do here is click on image if you wanna quickly export these or screen grab these and put them in a presentation or something like that. Scroll further down and you'll see alphabeticals, which in this case would be if people type in the word socks and then followed it with the letter B, what the words are that follow that. Scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll see related. And related is quite simply the top suggestions for your seed word. So I'm going to switch to data view and you can he see here that socks for men and socks for women, socks and sandals and so on and so forth. And you can download all this information as a CSV if you wanted to manipulate the data or play with it a bit. Now, some tips and tricks for getting the most out of Answer the Public. First, make sure that what you search for is only one or two words long. The great thing about Answer the Public is that it's allowing you access to this huge, huge pool of data. So this should be a way of narrowing, helping you to narrow you down into the topics that are interesting, rather than going in yourself with an idea of what you think it is. Next, try similar keywords. So if I'm interested in socks, maybe I should also be searching for underwear or men's socks. Also think about how people use Google search. So try using my rather than a. So my socks rather than a sock or socks. It's gonna give you a completely different take on the data. Now here's a pretty cool little hack to get even more data from Answer the Public than you would otherwise. And that is simply by going to the homepage and putting the word for after the term you're interested in. So if we search for socks for, and then scroll all the way to the bottom, and you're gonna be given a whole host of other ideas that are gonna be really, really interesting. So we've got everything here for socks for athletes, foots to socks for cats, as well as 205 other ones if you scroll down even further. Answer the Public is an amazing tool, but it's just one of the five tools that I recommend to most people when you wanna get started in researching a product, a topic, or a business. Click on your screen right now to find out what those other tools are and how you can start using them right away. Thank you.